Hi, um, this is Mickey Sunshine Creates. I'm Mickey. I'm doing a um, procreate play date. <laughs> Let's call it a play date. Uh, I don't know what else to call it. I, I am not. I, I'm not satisfied with the abstracts. I mean, I like a lot of them. Don't get me wrong. I'm having fun making them, but I want to do something else. I'm not. A very good artist I'm gonna admit it uh, but I enjoy coloring and I started th these are coloring books believe it or not I mean there's a 80, 80 coloring pages in this one Whoop, I started one you can see down here the whole line of them no let's and there are all these coloring pages. But anyway, I started one. Uh, I thought if I... I don't know. I thought if I put a blank layer above or below it, I'd be able to paint on the black layer. But it doesn't show through. I don't know why. They said I could, but I guess there's more I need to learn. But these are PDF books. Let me show you then. Uh, these are PDF books. There's uh, 80 here, 100 here, 180 pages of stained glass flowers. And that's my wonderful enchanted faces from uh, Hannah Lynn. Uh, Realistic cats here. Really, I think there's a hundred in here and a hundred or fifty and eighty in here. And then she's got Hannah Lynn book as a ton. <laughs> Plus, you, you can download individual um, coloring pages, which is fun. You know, I, I mean, it's cool. There's a lot of free ones, or you, if you like, it's like a coloring book. Same thing. Um, really, same thing. But I started this one. I haven't finished it yet. I started by setting it up and using the alpha lock. What the alpha lock does is allows me to drop into colors. I don't want to do that. I want to change that. Uh, it allows me to drop in colors. Like that. Oh, if there's a, unfortunately, if there's, yeah, there's an open, an open line, black line, somewhere here that's allowing the color to move out. But that's very easy to fix. Uh, pencil, 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 pencil. Drawing here for one. I want a pencil. Let's pick. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just picking a pencil. But I'm going to come in here. Oh, too too big. Lower this. Just make that a little bit. You know, close it in. Um, now, when I do the, oops, no, drop from here. Again? <laughs> what? Uh, I hate my, I'm learning. But where is the opening? Obviously, I colored it in once before. So I don't understand why it's not coloring in again. Oh, what's that? Okay, that's better. I don't understand. Why is it doing that? Oh, I think I know why. <laughs> no, I'm on the right layer. 
I'm on the right layer. See, it's blue and it's checked. So why isn't it coloring in again? And it's still on alpha lock. And that's not supposed to happen. Not that I mind the prettier colors, but that is not supposed to happen. I knew when, when I finished this that I wanted to change it a little bit, which is why we're here now. But See, I, I learn something new every day. Let's try again with I don't want black. I want white. Ah, I see what happened. I'm going to have patience. I'm going to have patience. something else <laughs> are we having fun yet I am um, yeah, I mean, all right no I, I don't think I meant to do coloring I really don't they got some cool pictures in here though look at that isn't that cute and that's beautiful mm. I could picture the green and the Anyway, um, I'm not sure what to do now. Should we go back to the gallery and see what we have? Oh, Lordy. Maybe it's because, no, I, I thought maybe it's because of the new iPad or the new pencil. No, it's not because I did that last night. Um... <laughs> Please forgive me. I uh, I just I seem to be having a rough time today and here I am whoop and here I am um trying to do a recording here. I'm trying. I'm trying. <laughs> I'm not doing so well, but I'm trying. I did spend a lot of time watching tutorials. I just, I need to watch them several times to absorb all the information. So it's possible I may not release this one. Forget coloring. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, let's go back to my video art. Get this one. Uh, clear the page. Oops, diamond painting drill. Before I got the, the cover, it was so easy to just wipe the drills off. But not now. Okay. Anyway, this is a new iPad. It's an iPad Pro 5th generation. Um, the pencil goes here, but it also charges magnetically. So I don't need the case to um, whatever it is. To... <laughs> And you can always, I think you can, used to be, you can always stick it up in the hole over here if you're using it all the time. And just, oh, just a minute. I'll be right back. I don't know. But there's a flat side, so it's not even going to roll off. Well, it's rolling, but it, it shouldn't. It, it, it. 
<laughs> you learn something new every day, like I always say. Anyway, this is the Apple Pencil. <laughs> okay. Let's bring this down here. Um, this is the last one we were working on. I don't like it. It's not finished. But I didn't want to finish it off camera. So, but I'm not going to finish it now. I'm just, we're going to try. Look, let's go back to abstract. <laughs> I'm going to do a 20 by 16 inch page. This is my new screen size. Ah, sorry, thirsty. Okay. Um, I'll close this in a little bit. This time, we're still going to use only the pens, brushes from this, the, the, the ones that come with the, the pattern, with the, the program. Um, it's really, it's really good. They have some nice ones. You really don't need to download new ones, but they're fun to play with because they have a lot of them. These are nice. I love these abstract ones you know stick band mm, let's pick a color ah stick band is a color changing it's that cool and i'm gonna change write that It's not letting me change it now. <gasps> That's possibly impossible. Why not? Maybe because it's a um, default brush. It's one of the ones that they did. It's not a create one by created by somebody else. Hmm. I'd like to note that it was color changing, but okay. Let's see what Storm Bay is. Go with a different color. Let's go with orange. Oh, it's also a color changing. Light. This one goes by pressure. Um, it seems, yeah, harder the pressure. And for color changing, it's not really using these two. So it's not a color tilt. It's definitely a color pressure. And the colors were pre-chosen. Oh, look at that. All right. I love being able to do that. So let's see. So look at that. And then it's a lighter I, the lighter I, I paint here, the more blue or green or yellow I get. I'm trying to get the blue. Can't, it's hard to get that blue. There we go. And doing this, it actually looks like I'm overlaying watercolors. This is cool, man. I like that. All right, let's see what waveform is. Now, this is not color changing. You can use this as a stamp. Yeah, little. Well, you can use it to make a funny. You could use it like this. Oh, nice. Look at that. It makes some cool lines. Look at that. I, that is in, very interesting. See, I'm learning by playing with the brushes. You learn what they can do and you figure out how you can use them. So, let's see if we can find another brush. Membrane. Okay, whatever. Let's go for purple. Purple. 
membrane seems to be a streaky watercolor. Like, or oil. Could be an oil. Like, when you you get a, a brush that doesn't hold, it won't hold the paint. So, come on. Whoop! So that when you first put it down, and then as you lighten up, that's just what a real brush will do. But again, you have to play with it to learn how to do the. Oh, look at that. I'm trying to do this very lightly. You get different looks by, with pressure, which is nice. This is fun. Triangulum. I don't know. Um, let's find out. Let's go yellow. Yeah, that's not right. First of all, I want to make it a little bigger. Let's see what it'll do. Ooh, look at that. If you press hard, it looks like a triangle hose. I don't know if you can see that. Let me pick a different color. How about red? I uh, see that. You see how that works? With the whites, it looks like a like triangle but it's that's cool that is cool this is I'm pressing very light now almost like a ribbon but a triangular ribbon I've never seen one but there you go alright what do we got next we have hexavector Okay, um, let's stick with red. It seems to be good for now. Oh, it's similar to the triangular, but it's if you, it's a hexagon shape. Look at this. Now, if I go hard back and forth. I can still do a solid. But this is so cool. The way it just it looks like a like silk gauze. It's very see through. Pastelli. Ooh, I'm having fun. Marble. Ooh, marble calls for a different color. Let's go to A pink. Look at that. That's marble. And it looks like it's changing color just a little bit. If you can see there's a little bit of yellow or gold in here. There's some purple. And it's, this is definitely a pink. Let's see what happens if I go hard. Oh, <laughs> look at that. I wonder how this is going to look on a black background. Because black, when you put a background, make a background black, it, it some makes some colors pop. Uh, they're called glow. Wait, let's do that again. They're called glow. And you see the these edges here and here. You press hard enough or go over them enough, they build up, and you've got a glow effect. Oh, I love it. <laughs> yeah, I hope you're having fun. I'm having fun. And this is all 
I'm going to be doing for now. I'm just going to be playing. That's kind of like a whip and jack. Only my whip is procreate. <laughs> and hopefully you'll learn it along with me. This is my new craft. I, I diamond paint. I love diamond painting. I haven't diamond painted in quite a few weeks since I've been sick and in pain. <laughs> a lot of pain. Uh, but a couple of days ago, I started diamond painting again. I started feeling better. Yay! Uh, but I procreate is my new craft. I mean, I don't really want to crochet. I don't want to knit, cross stitch, make crafts. I don't want to do any of those anymore. I want to paint and have some fun. <laughs> oh, Octacon. Now this. I want a different, I want a bright, bright pink. I want a neon. Ah. Now these are sweet sunsets. Where's my neon colors? There they are. <laughs> Look at that. That's, that's some colors already. That's definitely neon. Okay, let's pick a neon pink. Oh, it's also color changing. With pressure? Uh, all right, let's make these a little smaller so I can light pressure, heavier pressure. Very light. Let's see what happens when I, eh? yeah, it's just, no, it doesn't, it doesn't matter how much pressure. The pressure seems to affect the size. Thin. It's different. Let's take a look at the colors. <laughs> Ain't that pretty? I love the idea of color changing because it just makes it. it just I I just love it. I, <laughs> and these are all it's little bubbles. Three bubbles. Every time you poke, whoops, they're different colors. Oh. Sorry about that. I, it's Amazon telling me I have a delivery. I really should put on Do Not Disturb when I'm recording, <laughs> shouldn't I? Let me do that now. Never too late. Okay, so I, I, I just put on the do not disturb. <laughs> okay, let's do an easy clear. And last, well, no, we have spicule. Spicule? I've used this one before to cover over other, like with white. Um, but let's do the pink. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Small. Uh, yeah, I use the larger size. I just. Oops. That's what happens when you use the clear. Um, if you go to do the un to the undo, it shows up whatever you cleared, which I don't understand. But okay, I mean you clear something for a purpose. And no matter how you do the clear, if you do the three finger, because rubbing three fingers will clear everything on the page, not just your last thing. And here we have polygons. <laughs> I'm not sure what you can use them for other than The do not disturb did not work. All right, I'm I'm gonna have to fix my settings. <laughs> let's 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 just shut the hell up. Sorry, I yeah. <laughs> Those of you who know me, well, that's me. Okay, so those are the abstract. 
we also have airbrushing, which is wonderful. I mean, you know, like, it looks like an airbrush. Oop, why isn't that what? Well, it helps to put the color up. It's a medium, but, oh, I like that. I like water. Uh, let's go to medium airbrush. Not sure what's medium. To me, they all look alike. Am I crazy? Am I crazy? Or do, do they all look alike, pretty much? Now, this is a hard airbrush. Yeah, that doesn't... I, well, I guess the softness is on the outside. Though, if you take the hard brush and use a very light touch, you're still going to get soft. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> ah. Whoa. Well, why did you stop? There you go. All right. It's, it is what it is. Here's artistic. Oh my goodness. It's artistic. Um, well, I'm going to stick with the pink. Uh, we're going to go some wild light. I think it's just the shape of the brush that's doing it. Um, this one is called Aurora. Wow. And this is a color changing. And it's... It's picking up the red and the pink, but it's also adding in purple. It's wonderful. <laughs> and I like the... I like the shape. It makes a cool shape. Alright, let's see what else we got. Do you do leather wood? Now, to me, leather wood should be in brown. A bark brown. Like this. Bigger. Don't you think? Gee, a little smaller. Lightened up the opacity so the brush isn't completely loaded. And when it is, and if you, and you get the grainy look, ooh. And you see the difference? This is, <laughs> this is with less um, opacity. Um, this is with more, and this is a smaller brush that you get the streakiness. And of course, when you use the full opacity, on and on on a on this brush and do a light wave. It almost looks as if there's canvas underneath. Hmm. I have found some uh, paints, some brushes that actually mimic paint on canvas. Which means you don't have canvas looking stuff anywhere else, but it looks like that paint went on a piece of canvas and you stuck it there. I don't know. It, it's weird. <laughs> All right, this is called Hearts with a Z. I don't want brown. I'm not into brown. Let's go back to pink. Oh, 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 oh I like this. This is pretty. That's pretty. I know, pretty. I love the way you could get it different. If we're doing a, a, an abstract, we can do a long one in different colors. Overlapping colors. Whoop. Look at that. It is fine. It 
interesting, isn't it? Very interesting. And I like this. <laughs> okay, let's see what else we have. We have Tara Lee or Tara Leah. Okay, oh. It's, um, I would call it a watery brush, a wet brush. As you can see how when you go lighter, it looks like it's getting very wet. And actually, oh, bring it back. Thank you. And actually lifting a little bit, making it lighter here and making it look more natural. I mean, look at this. This is nice. All very light color. Little spots. It looks like, you know, you drop spots all over your painting. Um, yeah, and I like the edges, too. Which, mm, unfortunately, you can tell that it's graphical by the repeat of certain sections. Always. If, if you look at a splash, and then another splash, and then in a different color, another splash, you can tell it's the same pencil. And you can tell it's, gra and if it's the same shape, it's graphic. Because you can never get that with a real brush. So, see this one right here? Whoa. And you see the mark right there? It's got the same mark. Even if it is on a different angle. I went twice on this, but it still has the same mark. The same coming out here and here and on the other side. You know? It's the same, it's the same pen. Which means... That's not a real paint. Well, graphic painting is still real painting, but um, the difference between real medium and graphics is that graphics, unless you keep changing your brush every time you do a splotch or a splash or something like that, um, it's, they're going to look alike. So the only way is to change your brush. This is called Old Beach. Ah! Again, it's another wet one. But I like the streakiness. I, I like going light. I like, and if I go dark, it gets bigger. And ooh, there's a, a little pattern in here. I don't know if you can see that. Of a little change of color. Very hard to see on the, on the uh, camera. But that's the edge you get. And this is the kind of... When you spread it lightly, you get a mix of dark and light. There's light. Go over. A little darker. A little darker. And that is affected by pressure. You can have it the color or the size or yeah, the colors or the size react to pressure or to tilting. There are some that when you tilt, you get one color and if you go straight up you get a different color. It's adjusted with these, it's these two colors up here that are used. So, you know. Uh, it's yeah, this is not a color tilt. That You'll see CT on some brushes that you get. And that means it's color tilt. It means you've got one color one way and one color going in the other. It says multicolor. It might be mean pressure, usually, you know, it affects, um, or size. It could affect the size, light, and press, 
see that happens it gets bigger and smaller and bigger and smaller so you know you can actually write with these make some cute uh, calligraphy <laughs> but oh no oh this is very washy this is definitely wash look at that that's wet that's wet wet on wet that's a wet paper with a wet brush don't you think oh i love it <laughs> oh see i wish i could mark these on 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 here where it has the name i do that with um brushes i've downloaded that people have made apparently you can't do it yeah you can't change the name can't add to it usually i would add to it in parentheses wet on wet so i know this is a wet on wet i don't want to have to memorize it <laughs> all right let's see we have sassafras that was larapuna sassafras Is that cute? Again, this is heavy pressure. Going down to medium. Going down to light. And I like brushes that could do that. And that's what it looks like. It's my program. Oh, I'm holding three. Never mind. I'm I'm being an idiot. There we go. I three fingers is for wiping it clean. <laughs> and I did not do that. All right, last one. Quoll. Okay, let's do quoll. Oh, that's interesting. Let's try a different color. Uh, try purple. Uh, this is very light. Then I'm going darker. Light. Darker. Darkest. It still won't. It's not a solid. It's definitely not a solid. Look at that. But it also doesn't override itself. Uh, you got that nice clean streak in the in the middle, but if I go back with the brush, son of a gun, it's blending. Can you see that? I don't know if you can see that. Look at the way it's blending. It looks like you know again, wet. Ah, I love this. This is so cool. It's got a little shimmer to it when you put it down. And uh, that's how you can tell if it's a wet brush. Because it's got a little shimmer to it. Just like you would get if you were working with a real wet watercolor brush. <laughs> you know, uh, it, it would, you'd see the, the shine. I'm not having luck with the undos, aren't I? There we go. All right, that was the last one in artistic. Next is going to be calligraphy, but let's take that another time. We're almost at 40 minutes, and I don't want to take up too much more of your time. I want you to have fun. I want you to think about getting Procreate if you have an iPad. Um, it's only $12.99. Uh, there's Procreate Dreams for $19.99, but that one is for people who really want to do animation. It doesn't have the same mm, commands, whatever, as Procreate. You can animate and Procreate, but you, there are things that, have, that are in Procreate 
that aren't in Procreate Dreams, which is mostly for animators, and vice versa. So, let's say... Come on. Ah, let's just delete it. We don't need this stinking... Delete. We don't need that empty page. Let's say we're done for today. I hope you had some fun. I did. Um, even if it's just finding out about the different brushes I have, what they do, um, how I can use them. Uh, I'm going to have to go over the ones we went over, those three libraries, again and again and again and again until I have it in my head of which ones I like best. And then I will create a library called Watercolor Favorites or just Favorite Brushes. And I always know where my favorites will be. I don't have to go searching for them. But I need to know what they can do. It's just like anything else. If you have brushes at home, uh, if you're a real painter, or watercolorist, and you have brushes, you play with your brushes. You know, if you're lucky and you have a little talent, you can create flowers or a house or you know, a, a landscape or something. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I will try again. I will keep trying. Um, or you just do your abstract like me. I mean, I've picked up. Uh, let's see, where are they? Uh, where did I put them? These are stacks, and it makes it so easy to find things. I did put them in alphabetically, but I'm not sure where I put this particular. Where? Where'd they go? Where'd they go? Where'd they go? Where'd they go? Oh, no. I made a difference. These are called alcohol washes. These are alcohol brushes. Um, these, I don't know what it means. I think it means using alcohol as a liquid instead of water. And this is the results you get, the way they blend. Um, very different. Very different. You get these, what they call cells, um, which I think are cool. Now, I tried to make one. And it's, it's okay. <laughs> you know, I, I got my cells. Um, but it's not quite the same. I think what I'm going to do is I may take some of these alcohol brushes and make them color change brushes, either tilt or pressure. And that might give me a better look. I don't know. I haven't done it. I'll do it soon. But until then, please be kind, be nice, be wonderful. Be good <laughs> and be safe. Um, and until the next time, <laughs> I didn't forget you, friends. <laughs>